IUOE spends 135 to 150 million dollars per year in training. That represents thousands of people who walk in the doors of our training centers and acquire state-of-the-art knowledge. Whether it's apprenticeship or journeyman upgrade, construction or stationary, the U.S. or Canada, nobody does training like the IUOE. One of our goals is to provide our contractors or our clients with qualified professional employees, and that's what we do. The employer feels like they're getting the best caliber of worker they can, and they're getting them from us. The value that we provide to the employers is trainees and engineers can perform tasks at a higher level when they enter a position and spend less time coming up to speed in that particular environment. At the heart of the International's Training Fund is the recognition that one size doesn't always fit all and that each local is best equipped to determine its own approach. While we're here in D.C. and we see things that perhaps somebody at a local union wouldn't see, there's a vast network out there that we would never claim that we're the experts in running. We are facilitators for all the good things that are going on at the local level for training. That includes helping local instructors to be the best. Our instructors are re-educated every year. We send them out to Beckley, to the International, make sure we keep up with our skills and that we're on the top of our game. We stay with, with uh, technology very well down here. Everything that I've learned to do as an operating engineer, I've learned through the union, either through the apprenticeship or out on the job. We have very good people that are willing to pass that knowledge along. They try and acquire the instructors from the trade itself that uh, are sort of top in trade. Just outstanding. They set the bar as, as high as possible and uh, you feel very comfortable leaving there that you could show up on a work site and perform. The training that you will receive down at the Dean Hall is going to exceed anything you're going to find at any local college or anything like that. Um, I speak firsthand that the classes down here, the facilities, the instructors, top notch. Because our members work with often complex machinery, hands-on training is critical. Now we're going to hoist it down. So both the international and local unions are committed to investing in top-of-the-line equipment that reflects the reality of the workplace. We spend a lot of money buying new equipment. We, we, we keep the state-of-the-art equipment around. So these guys have got the best equipment and the newest equipment to train on. The equipment is very close to what's in the field. We take a three-step approach. We first take into account the physics and classroom exercises, but then the equipment is more of an exploded view of actual equipment in the field. And then we have them work on the actual equipment that they'd see in the field. In both construction and in building operation and maintenance, IUOE apprenticeship programs are preparing the next generation of operating engineers to practice their craft with skill and with safety. Our goal here really is to take an apprentice engineer that is first coming into the program. Our goal is to mold him into a, a, a building engineer that knows all the facets of, of what's going on in a building. Our engineers have to be well-rounded. I went through three years of the apprenticeship. Everybody at the training site helped me with everything, step by step. There was a lot of people there that knew a lot of things and I wasn't one of them. And they definitely made me a su success. I've taken nine to 10 classes down here and the training is invaluable. It directly correlates to what you're gonna do in the field. It really gives you an idea of what you're getting into when you get out there in the workforce. I think the training that the youngsters get in the Operating Engineers Apprentice Program helps them be safe on the job and helps them be effective on the job. I think actually the employer gets a better bang for the buck from having better qualified people out here. One of the things that sets us apart in each component, we teach safety. Um, we use safety practices in our labs. We start the trainee out where he's wearing safety glasses and the appropriate gear from the get-go. And so this philosophy, this training, will have them practice the same thing out on the job site. So we can operate that motor more efficiently. Journeyman upgrade programs are helping to keep our members working, putting them on the cutting edge of the latest technology and the latest trends in the industry. Once you become a Class A operator where 
the companies know that you're a good operator. I mean, you're not going to sit around much. If there's work, you're working. We are very active at our training center in journeyman upgraded with operators who are skilled in certain types of equipment but not others. And then generally if they're laid off, there's a work opportunities and other pieces of equipment. We encourage and often see those operators participate in our training program. I'm taking the energy conservation class. Energy conservation is a huge part of our job, so that's why I'm back taking it. This is an upgrade class for me. I'm, I'm back in school. Um, ever since the opening of the, the new labs here in the new hall, I, I had a great interest in coming back. You gotta have proper training for the proper job, um, and that's an ongoing thing. I mean, I think each job, each new job that you come upon, you need to go through new training to keep up with the new times, the new technology, everything. Training is, is key, and the operating engineers, they provide that. You can have the most efficient building in the world, but if you don't have the right operator, that efficient goes out the window. You need the right training, the right operators to come and implement all the savings and oversee the operation on a day-by-day -day basis. And that's what training does. It allows you, it gets you the smarts to come back to your building and apply what you learn. The International Union of Operating Engineers produces the type of clientele that employers want. We provide a very marketable product.